What's up with you? For today's video, we a Larvesta sweep. Tears of Mermaid, this one is for you. So this is tonight's triple upload. Before I uploaded a Zigzagoon Galar sweep, then a Gossifleur sweep. So make sure you've checked those out already. They were tonight's previous upload. So this will be the last video of the night. Uh, we've got uh, Larvesta here. So we've got Flame Body and Swarm as the abilities. Both of these are pretty handy. The thing I like about Larvesta is it's got a really nice attack stat. And it's actually a physical attacking Pokemon in comparison to its evolution Volcrana, which is a special attacking Pokemon. Uh, Larvesta, I gave this a fully physical moveset and we got the sweep pretty quickly. So I hope you enjoy this one. I'll I'll catch you tomorrow for a YouTube stream. Peace out, people. Today, we're going to try and go for a Stoutland sweep or a Larvesta sweep. I don't know whether we're going to get these, but um, we just got two Pokemon sweeps, so I'm feeling, pretty, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about it. Okay, so first Pokemon is Metagross. Metagross, uh, Metagross is very bulky. Hmm... Let's see. So, uh, Metagross is a leader. Uh, Derek is saying, should we make Ben Deep Throat two, two at two once again? If, you know what? If we get to the second pickle, I'll 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 eat two at once. There you go. There you go. I've said it. Uh, Jordan Fetch has done a two dollars super chat saying, "Bucket hat for the." By the way, okay. Here's the here's the pickle Rick bucket hat. The Burnett's turned into a ghost. Here it is, people. It's fresh. It's green. My opponent's Dynamax. What do you reckon? I reckon it looks pretty fresh. You know, I could go fishing in this. I really could. You know, get that fly and go, and then wind that fish in. Okay, here we go. Dynamax Metagross. This is very, very early too. Extremely early. The, the, okay, there's one good thing about this. They may try and, obviously they're gonna try and sweep me here. Max, Max Hail, Max Mindstorm. I read that as Max Hailstorm for, for some reason. Okay. Hmm. Okay. But yeah, if we get, you know what? If we get to the second pickle, I'll eat two at once. We're about, we're, 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 we're around six, six, we're about six, actually, we're, we're 69 away. <laughs> we're, we're actually 69 away. Uh, you wouldn't read about it. Let's go for Thunder Wave right here. Now, this is a bulky Galvantula, so I, I took that reasonably well. So we're going to paralyze Metagross here. Thank you, Benedict, for that. If that was you, obviously you weren't at stream and stuff like that, but you just popped in. So thank you for the battle. You really got me good there at your vinyl. I thought I was going to... Uh, I didn't think I was going to win. Okay, uh, we've got uh, um, a boost there in attack, which is which is rough. Um, well, I, I really can't do it much at this stage in the battle either. Uh, there's not much I can really do here. Like, none of my... Like, it's got clear body and stuff like that. I, I really can't do anything at all. So I'm just going to let it faint me. Okay. Okay, that's the end of uh, Galvantula. Uh, Metagross might sweep me here. Like, it's got a lot of attack. And it's got Psyche Terrain on the field, too. All right, we got, we got to think... Yeah, that's going to get... That's going to get countered, too. Um... Larvesta is pretty, like, this is a Larvesta. It's a fully physical one. It is, it, obviously, it does rely on Ninjask a little bit there. Uh, we've got um, this Stoutland set, which might work. We'll go into Duck Trio here for a second. Uh, little Eddie, you missed two Pokemon sweeps. You missed the, um, yeah, you missed the Zigzagoon and Gosler. I got the last two Gen 8 Pokemon. Got the last ones. Okay, Metagross here. I've got um, I've got Sand Attack. I mean, none of these is really good. Let's go for Final Gamma. I don't normally do this, but Metagross is kind of thick, you know. I will be covering both those sweeps on YouTube too. I'll put them on, in, you know, in their own video and stuff like that. I see a uh, Fenrir. Uh, good luck. Uh, good luck to your uh, friend in the hospital as well. Hope they get better. Okay, solid damage there from Final Gamma. They also have clear, but exactly. So I can't use Sand. Like Metagross is quite a good, uh, quite a good counter there. Okay, so Gara Ball. Hmm. This is difficult. I might be able to get a little bit of salt here with, uh, with, with Drifloom. Let, let, let's see what happens. So they won't be able to use their... They've got a fighting move. We know that. And they've got a uh, psychic move. I just hope they don't have anything. Okay. Let's try and get this going. Hello, KU. How you doing? Well, we got two Pokemon sweeps today, so things are going very, very well. So we got that, uh, got a little bit of evasion there. We got a Paralyze, nice. I'll use Hypnosis, yeah, I'll use Hypnosis why Metagross is Paralyzed. That, that's, that, that, that's a, that's a, that's a foolproof plan if I, you know, ever heard of one. All right, uh, we, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass a little, we might go for, La, I'm thinking La Vestra Stalin, I'm not sure. Let me just check on their team, because, okay, the only thing, 
The only thing about La Vesta is... Um, but the thing about La Vesta is it's got Flare Blitz and Wild Charge, and they take a lot of... Uh, you know, they, it takes a lot of damage, right, when he uses those moves. So I'm going to have to really make sure... Oh, it's a, it's a mix set. And Gar that's actually pretty... I'll admit, that's actually pretty, that's actually pretty nice. Uh, we're going to go for a, uh, a sub here. I might even go for La Vesta. Okay. I mean, Strength Sap's not going to work anyway. Okay. Um, let's just pass it. Uh, would you want to keep stadium style battles in general? Yeah, I, I like the big stadiums. I think it's an upgrade, you know, like compared to what we've had before. You know, you've got a screaming crowd, a big area. It looks really, really good. I, I definitely think that's an upgrade. I didn't really want to do that. Uh, we've got Stoutland. Let's do, um, let's have a look here. <clears throat> yes, I've covered all the two toots here. See, see you later, LSA. Thank you for coming along. Oh, Psychic's going to miss. I actually ran a special Metagross. Wait, Fire, Fire. The only one I'll have trouble with is Dragonite. That's it. All the others is, is it's cake. Let's go for Sword Dance. Hey, Larrikin. How's it going, man? W welcome back. Welcome back to the Land of Salt. Uh, we're going to go here and get some stats up. So, Larvest has got a fair... Like, actually, a fairly decent attack stat, you know? The Metagross... Like, on oh, my mono is a, a steel team is a special set. Yeah, I, I like special Metagross. It's pretty good. Like, I ran, like, a Specs one. I did, like, Psychic, Steel Beam, uh, Icy Wind, and oh, something else. I'm trying to remember what the other move was, but it was pretty good. We're going for La Vesta now. Okay, Gyro Ball. That's good. The good thing, if it does land a Gyro Ball against uh, La Vesta, it's, it's going to resist it, which is good, you know? Okay. Let's go into uh, La Vesta. Let's give this La Vesta sweep a go. Wait, did I? I only gave it plus two an attack, but I'm feeling pretty confident. I don't, I'm not going to give it plus six. It's got a pretty good at attack stat. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Let's do this. A SpongeBob Wormy sweep. I hope I don't regret giving it more. Yeah, Metagross does get Icy Wing, which is kind of curious. All right, we've got Lava Lamp. Do you like the name? Lava Lamp? I think it's a really cool name. Could you get it? Because, like, lav like larvae and then, you know, moth and lamp and stuff. Okay. Let's go ahead and go for a leech life. <clears throat> I don't want to, like, use flare blitz and stuff. I don't want to unnecessarily, like, waste uh, health. That should be enough anyway. Okay. I, I'd really like, uh, like, La Vesta and Volcarina. Right? How La, La Vesta is... It's stat wise is like a primarily f like physical attacker. Then it goes to Volcano, which turns into like more of a like a special attacker. Hmm. A SpongeBob wormy sweep. Yes, a little SpongeBob. The name is genius. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Magneton's the next Pokemon. This might have Sturdy, which is bad because unless I go Flare Blitz, I don't really want to go. F okay. I'm going to go Max Flare. Oh, I don't want to waste my sub, though. All right, let's go Flare Blitz. And this is difficult because it's like, do I use my sub up in Dynamax or do I keep my sub and go Flare Blitz? Hopefully no Sturdy, like Magnip. Hey, we're starting. <laughs> Damn, we're Sturdy. I knew it. Okay, I've still got my, um, I've still got my uh, su uh, Substitute up, which is fine. Okay, Magnet Rise? Magnet Rise? I, I have no idea why they did Magna Rise, so I'm going to go for Leech Life. I, maybe they were expecting me to go for a ground-type move. Have you done the same team on a Pokemon like Love Vesta that changed from physical? I don't, I'm actually not sure if I've done that yet. Like, I ever, like, I'm not sure. What would you even call that? I have no idea what you use Magna. Like, Love Vesta doesn't even get any... I don't think it gets any ground-type moves. Doesn't get Earth Power, doesn't get Bulldoze, doesn't get Earthquake. Okay. Attack stat changing team. That doesn't really, like, depict a Pokemon, like, change. You'd have to mention, like, evolution and stat changing. Something like, something like that, you know. All right. I I'm going to go for a Max Lightning here. We ain't going to play no games here. We're going to go for this, um... We're going to, get like, break away from the Subtute because I don't want to lose, like, too much health. Yeah, I've done a SpongeBob team. 
It was like a really, really old video though. Like it's probably, I reckon it's probably uh, six, six years ago. It might be a shell smash. Yeah, I'm thinking it will be. So we're going to get some uh, extra bulk here. And get that electric train on the field too. I, I, maybe they won't expect me to have electric type move. That's kind of nice. This gets wild. Right? No, they didn't have it. I think this is really like cool. It gets an electric type move. I guess it's from all the lamps it's flown into. Look how good the little. What would you call those things around its head? They're like little, like those little spikes around its head. Look really like they're just glowing yellow. I mean, what was Magneton going to do anyway? Just break the sub? So it didn't. It actually didn't matter what Magneton even did there because I was going to go for Dynamash regardless. Okay, in comes Tyrannosaurus. Going to put the sand up. Uh, yeah, I've got um, I've got Max Flutterby, so we're going to go ahead and go for that. A team of Carcol. What, what, what about a team of Carco? What do you, what do you people? A Thomas the Tank, <laughs> Thomas the Tank Engine Strike, where you put all the Carco in a row, and then you put like everything is fine or whatever, whatever the whatever the meme was. It's very nice. Well, who would you put at the front? No, what you do right is you get Phalanx, and in between every little Phalanx, you do like the Phalanx head, the Carco, the Phalanx head, the Carco, so it would look like it's carrying like little trailers. <laughs> Be pretty cool. All right, Executor is the next Pokemon here. Yeah, this is going to go down easy. Um, okay, what, what, what are they gonna, what are they gonna Dynamax? I've only got one more po- Oh no, Dragonite, bugger. Yeah, I can't be Dragonite. Um. Gee, I, I don't even know what to do. I guess I can go Max Airstream. Max. Right, we'll go Max Fly. I think I'm gonna lose the Dragonite. I'm calling it right now. I'm gonna lose the Dragonite. That's gonna be their Dynamax Pokeball. Uh, then add a Snorlax on top to be the Fat Conductor. That's that's amazing. That's amazing. The the Fat Conductor could be Snorlax. Just put it on top of the train. Okay. Oh, they used their Dynamax. Oh, they Dynamax their Metagross at the start, didn't I? Sorry, my apologies. They, they already used that. Uh, at, at least they're not going to be as tanky now. I just don't think I'm going to one-shot Dragonite, you know? It's it's a pretty... Wish I had... I wish I, I, this is the point where I wish I had Substitute, you know? I've got Wild Charge and Acrobatics. Acrobatics is really only there for like Airstream. <clears throat> okay. My most powerful move right now is Wild Charge. But I've also got Leech Life too. I could go Leech Life then Wild Charge. I, I don't really know what to do here. This is a really... <sighs> this is a really bad match. I think I'm going to lose here. Unless I... Let me see what stats I got here. Unless I get very lucky with a little bit of a... I got, I got evasion, ev evasion, though. So let's go ahead and do some evasion. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to get some... Let's go for some some mega suck. I need I need for Dragonite to miss here. Good damage. Good damage. Yep. Excellent. Miss. There we go. Flamethrower. That is the game, people. Uh... I can go for it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna finish this with a uh, with a wild charge. We're gonna finish the dragonite with a uh, a wild charge here. All right, boom. That is the La Vesta sweet people. La Vesta is gonna be able to take this dragonite easy peasy, and uh, that is GG. So another Pokemon sweep there against another random opponent. Um, there we go. So if you've if you've if you've never seen a uh, a La Vesta in action, you sure have now. Now La Vesta is pretty cool because it's more of a physical attacker. So uh, let me bring up the stats for this. I didn't even think we'd get La Vesta today. So La Vesta is a physical set. Let's get some GGs in the chat uh, for my opponent too for playing uh, my random opponent for playing out the whole battle. Whoever they were. Like, at least they, at least they, and I'll, I will, I will give some props to my opponent too. They had some pretty cool sets there. They had a mixed Metagross and obviously a Dragonite too. So that was pretty nice. I didn't expect that. They sort of took me off guard with that. Um, so the Live Vesta set will be right here in the video. So we've got Acrobatics, Wild Charge, Flare Blitz, and Leech Life. Uh, the EV spread was uh, Max Attack and Max Special, sorry, Max, 
<laughs> max attack and max speed. Sorry about that. And adamant at nature. So it's got 85 base attack. So it's pretty it's pretty powerful, which is why I only gave it a little bit of an attack. It pretty much did the job. Uh, the ability was swarm too. So when it got a, like obviously a, a third or lesser health, uh, the bug type moves would be much more powerful. Uh, the item of he heavy duty boots too. I was thinking about using Everlight, um, but I went with heavy duty boots because, you know, sticky web, stealth rocks kind of wrecked it. And you know, me having to use wild charge and flare blitz a lot, it would, you know, wouldn't be on like a like a higher amount of health a lot of the time. Uh, Leech life was my other move, so I could heal back the damage uh, dealt uh, in recall from flare blitz and wild charge too. So, yeah, and that was that was that was pretty much it. That's pretty much it for the uh, La Vesta sweep. I actually don't know if I've done a Volcarana sweep before. I'm just trying to think on the spot here. I don't know if I have. Um, but that's that's definitely the first La Vesta sweep I've, I've done on my channel. Now, this La Vesta sweep also was for Tears of a Mermaid. That was uh, that was actually a, a request for uh, Patreon for uh, a, a request there. So uh, there you go. There's your La Vesta sweep done. I didn't think I'd get it so quickly. We got it on a very, very first go. But um, I'm going to keep going with some Pokemon sweeps and I hope you enjoy this. Let's get some more sweeps.